Welcome to Applied Motion's quick guide for connecting to your Ethernet based device. Um, to start with, we are going to be using one of our step servo drives for this example. Uh, so, to begin with, the first step is going to be setting your static IP address. Now, in order to set your static IP address, the simplest way is to go down to your toolbar, click on the button, and this is using Windows 10, and then go over to this unidentified network. Once you get here, this will pull up your settings and your network and Ethernet settings. You're going to go to our change adapters options, which should pull up this window here. And from here, you're going to be given these different ones. Your wireless network can be uh, left alone. Then if you have a VPN, that will be here. And then ultimately, you are looking for an Ethernet based connection point. From here, right click and go to properties. And this will give you a nice large list of different properties of your Ethernet adapter. Now, for applied motion drives, they will come from the factory with a default IP address of 10.10.10.10. .10 Again, that's four sets of 10s with a period in between as an IP address. So without going into the full reasoning for why about this, uh, we are going to start by highlighting this Internet Protocol version 4. IPv4 and going down to properties. Once we get into properties, your standard IP address will generally be given automatically from your computer. That's not what we're doing here. What we're going to be doing is moving down and using the following IP address. Uh, I'm going to be using one that I use for most of my setups. Uh, however, as long as you have your setup to anything other than 10, 10, 10, 10, it should be fine. So in this case, we will be connecting to the default IP address and setting a static IP address of 10.10.117. So the first three numbers, and this is, each one of these groupings is called an octet. Uh, each one of these octets we're gonna be going through, the first three must be 10. Your fourth one must be anything other than 10. Uh, this will generally be something uh, along the lines of, you know, what we did here. Uh, 117, I recommend a random prime number, uh, as most people will use uh, zero tens and fives for their IP addresses. Now for the subnet mask, when you click here, it'll automatically populate. You need to have at least 255, 255, 00. zero. It is, however, recommended to switch it to 255, 255, zero. Now, this can be changed and each time you are connecting to a different IP network. So let's say you wanted to use uh, the dial position one on an STF ethernet drive. Dial position one will typically be 192, 168, 1.10. In that case, this would have to be 192, 168, 1.117 1 again would work. And then the subnet mask would still be your 255, 255, 255, 0. Once you have that set up, click OK. And then just because it is more of a safety net than anything else, highlight Internet Protocol version 6 and uncheck the box. Once you've done this, you can close, close out of your adapters. And in this case, open up your configuration program. And this, if you're using an STF drive, would be STF configurator. In MDX, we'll use MDX servo suite. SV200s will use SVX servo suite. And our ST drives and ST, uh, STAC drives will both use ST configurator. Now, in this case, in one from Step Servo Quick Tuner, we are going to change our port down to Ethernet. We are going to set the IP address to the default IP address of the drive. 10, 10, 10, 10. And then we can immediately check to see if our connection is valid by clicking the ping.
And once you type in your Ethernet IP address correctly, you can see you'll get you want to upload configuration from Drive, in which case we click yes. You will then see your bar move across, and then you can proceed with the rest of your setup. Thank you for watching this setup of our static IP addresses and connecting to an Ethernet drive. And please contact Applied Motion Products if you have any further questions on getting connected to your new drive. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.